Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Pierce Gaming News. Well, Nintendo wants to watch you sleep. Nintendo has unveiled new details about its QOL platform, which stands for Quality of Life, and includes a line of health-focused devices, beside which include a bedside sensor that tracks your sleep, sends the data up to the cloud for analysis, and produces suggestions to help you get more rest. I can see where Nintendo is coming from on this one, but you don't need health devices when gaming, do you? These are called gaming consoles, not a health store. The Kinect could track heartbeats, look how well that turned out. This is just a dumb move by Nintendo and they shouldn't put any more money into this because they're supposed to be a gaming company, not a health place. They're just wasting their money. I mean, serious. Some of Ubisoft's, Ubisoft's biggest 2014 games are no longer on the Steam in, new, in the UK. These games include Far Cry 4, Assassin's Creed Unity, and The Crew. They will only be available to PC gamers in Britain on Ubisoft's Uplay store. However, a Ubisoft representative told PC Games End that the decision was not final. He said, We've been in discussions with Valve about Assassin's Creed Unity, but for the time being, the game is not available via Steam in the UK, Ubisoft said. I do not agree with this decision at all. I'm not sure why they would basically have it only on Uplay. That thing doesn't seem to, like, ever work. I know the decision is not final, but come on. Steam is the biggest game source for PC gamers, and now Ubisoft will lose out on so many sales because of this, since nobody really likes Uplay to begin with. They'd rather just have it available on Steam since it's so easy to use, and... Oh yeah, they actually work all the time, and you don't have to worry about your games being lost after you buy them. I'm sure it's the same for Uplay, but Steam just makes it a million times easier than Uplay. Last bit of news here, PS4 Advanced Warfare blocks SharePlay. Sony has issued a statement clarifying that not all games will work with SharePlay. A representative for the company said, SharePlay is a system level feature enabled by System Software Update 2.0, making it available for all PS4 titles. However, the option is available to developers to disable the feature according to what they feel will best benefit the consumer experience. And then there's a statement released by the Call of Duty developer Sledgehammer. Delivering a great gaming experience for our fans is a top priority. We are focused on launching Advanced Warfare and ensuring that people have a great time playing it, which is our fans seem to be. SharePlay is a new feature that was introduced as part of a recent PS4 firmware 2.0 update. Our engineers didn't have access to it before it launched, so we haven't had the chance to evaluate it evaluate it to see how it will impact the experience across all modes of play. Of course, we won't include a feature in our game without having the chance to test it. Once we fully analyze the performance, we'll determine how to support it going forward. Okay, is that why I'm able to share play with a ton of other games that were out a lot longer before this firmware 2.0? I don't know, seems kind of sketchy to me. But I was wondering if developers could block share play because my friend and I were trying to share play Minecraft the other day and it didn't work it only said he was not in the game and I had to wait even though he was telling me over the party chat that he was walking around and I still couldn't play. But this could also be because there's single player games and you know when you have like one person playing you really can't play two player with the game. I don't think Minecraft you can. Maybe if you did the, uh, the two multiplayer on Minecraft it would work but same goes for Call of Duty. You really can't play as another player in single player mode. Bet the same is going to go for GTA. So it could just be that too. We'll have to see once more information comes out about this. The one thing I don't understand is why would you want to block the feature? I mean, it's basically promoting your game to somebody else and they can try it for up to an hour and just retry it again if that wasn't enough time to make their decision if they want to buy it. I mean, unless they're fearing that it will lose sales if the other person doesn't find the game interesting enough to buy it and they choose not to want the game anymore. This feature is pretty much pointless if developers and publishers can choose to block the game. Thanks for leaving that part out, Sony. All I know is SharePlay should be open to all games, since it will defeat the purpose of it and they're just gonna go block huge titles like Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Uncharted. If they do that, that's just gonna ruin, ruin the whole thing. It's like, why even release it then? You wasted your time. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that they should, uh, block the games or do you think they should just be available to every single game? Let me know down in the comments. Alright, that's all the news I got for you guys today. Make sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.